Welcome back to Good Morning San Diego. Time now is 631. One of the races we've been keeping an eye on is the California State Assembly District 75. Let's take a look at the board. And there you have it. Mr. DeMille smiling with 44% of the vote. Uh, Andrew Hayes a coming in a th in third at 16% of the vote. Kevin Juzo is a lead Democrat with 19% of the vote. But joining me now should be the guy who is smiling on that board. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, he's still smiling. Mr. Da DeMaio, Carl, good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Paul. All right, your initial thoughts. Were those the numbers that in your head you were projecting? We're pleased. Um, remember, the Sacramento Swamp, the powerful interests that benefit from the broken, corrupt system up there, they spent $1.4 million against me with outright lies, mailers in the mailbox every single day, TV ads that were just despicable and, and dishonest. And uh, that's a lot of money to spend in just, you know, three weeks. But our voters know me. They know I'm a fighter. They know that I've always stood up to the establishment, the machine, to fight for people that don't have a voice. My job is to give voice to the voiceless. And we've done that through Reform California. And as the 75th district next assembly member, I will do that in Sacramento. Well, Carl, let's not, uh, you have some pretty sharp elbows too. I mean, I, I've known you for now 25 years. You, 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 you were born for this kind of you thing, know what? were you not? If, 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 if speaking truth to power when no one else will is considered sharp el elbows, then I'll accept that. But I think people want to see their voice presented. No more mamsy pamsy, no more go along, get along. That has not served us. That's not helped us. That's actually led us to have the highest inflation of any state in the nation, highest cost of living, the worst schools, the highest crime rate now, homelessness that's off the charts, an open border. I mean, the Republican Party of California should be ashamed of itself because it has not made an effective fight, has not been an effective voice of opposition. And frankly, the Democrat Party should be ashamed for their extreme bad policies. So my goal is to get up there and to bring the voice of the forgotten Californian Did you to get, the process. You got the result you wanted in that Mr. Hayes finished third out of the top two, correct? Well, you know, obviously there's 40,000 or so votes left to be counted. But one thing's for sure, Paul, in the November runoff, I'll be facing the Sacramento swamp once again. They do not want me up there. They do not want an independent voice. They do not want someone who's going to fight them. And so they'll either bankroll Kevin Dews or they'll bankroll uh, Andrew Hayes. Uh, this has never been about the qualifications, by the way, of those two candidates. They are just tools in a corrupt system. They find candidates who will go along to get along, do their bidding, and then they bankroll them with a bunch of dark money. Our funds and our support comes from grassroots supporters at $25 a pop. Tens of thousands of supporters and volunteers powered us to last night's win. And I want to say to all of them, thank you. You stood up to the Sacramento swamp. You stood by me and we fought and we won. Now we have to seal the deal in November and the more important work begins thereafter, challenging the broken system in California and getting our state back on track. Carl, you brought up the 40,000 votes outstanding. Educate me on something. Is that enough votes to, to, to change? Do you know where those votes are out that, that could change the running order of this deal? Well, you never know. I mean, that's why I always say, um, you know, in California, I, I don't like the way we do elections. That's why I authored the California Voter ID Initiative. I think we need to get these election uh, uh, votes, uh, the, the votes tallied. Um, in a much more um, uh, prompt and, and timely manner. Um, it, it only raises suspicion that something's wrong, uh, but this is the process we have. So those mail-in ballots that came in late now have to be counted. It probably will take the next two weeks, maybe three weeks to get through all of that. And I encourage everyone to go and make sure that if you are one of those last minute voters, check out my website to ensure that your vote was counted. Go to trackmyballot.org, trackmyballot.org. And in the coming days, Put in your information. It's a state database that we link to uh, to verify that your vote was actually counted. If it says it wasn't counted, go to the Registrar of Voters Office and check to see if your signature was rejected. You can always cure your signature, cure your ballot to make sure that your vote counts. Uh, Carl, we have to. I, I have about five more questions, but we have to call it a morning. Uh, I, I, sir, congratulations, and uh, we'll see you. I'm sure on KUSI pretty regularly between now and November. So, have a safe day. Okay. Thanks so much.